Hello. Hi, logs. Hello there. Oh, that reminds me of something that I'll do later. Mm -hmm. There it is. Damn. Holy shit. It's been almost exactly a month since I last messaged Meowie on Discord. Crazy. I need to DE some of my cards. Cubic Souls? What's this? Hmm. I guess that's one way to play the deck. <clears throat> Delete. When the secret stream becomes the main. Mm. Well, it's because I'm not a streamer right now, because I'm on hiatus. Duh. Wait. Temple of the Sun, Castle Molar. I think I can get rid of these. I do like this deck. Castle Molar, Life Point Burn, Mushroom Man. I actually won a duel versus Mini because of Mushroom Man, and they accused me of having my deck built to counter her deck. They're like, you know Mushroom Man would counter her, her deck. That's why you played it. And I was just like... Uh, no. <laughs> I played it because I thought it would be silly. <laughs> Eldritch Pile. Let's get rid of this. Damn, I have a lot of decks that I built and I just never played. Cynet Dragon Rollback. What the fuck is this? Oh. A Morphage. Sloth. Can I play Counter Fairies? Generation Shift Insects. Wait, can I play Insects? Ooh. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I meant in the NR format. The problem is there is the good counter traps are not in R? Oh. Valkyrie stun. This one didn't pan out. <sighs> Metaltron. This one didn't pan out either. In R tier. Rescue a zombies. I don't think I ever tried that one. The zombie 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 number 10 deck didn't really work either. In our Beast Tenny. Oh yeah, I forgot I built this and I just never deck tested it. This doesn't look very good. Uh ooh, the Manticore deck. Oh I forgot I built this one now. This one looks fun. Whoa. Now that's a silly deck. <laughs> uh, export deck, create new, go to unlimited and auto import. We're going to see the rarity of all of the best floodgates in the game. Zap Mustang, huh?
Consecrated Light. I'm pretty sure that card's banned in NR format. And so is Summon Curse. And so is Banisher. Both of them. Inferno. And that one's banned too. So Zap Mustang is the only good one that we have here. <laughs> Zamp Mustang. Comma. Okay. Discard changes. Let's see here. Uh, deck number two. Um, create new. Hmm, this poses quite the dilemma. Oh well. I was getting rid of all of them. YDK, export, auto import. Some of these cards cannot be imported. Unlimited format. Uh, the Immortal Borns, the Mortal Body, Reiku. Oh, okay. Is it just that one? Export. Uh, the Immortal Bushi Mourns the Mortal Body. That card's in the game. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you get banned? No. If you're banned, you can't stream on an alternate account. No, it's not? I thought it was. Are you guys lying to me? Because I know you guys like to lie to me. Yeah, I'm still on indefinite hiatus. I know Clockwork Knight is banned because it's too good. I can't play the Mechanical Dog. All the Amorphages are NR? Wait, are they? Because there's two of them that are good. Or I guess there's one of them that only requires a single tribute. A morph. Oh, is this all weird? Go away. God damn it. Um, it's sloth. Oh, sloth's already in there. Okay, let me go in and just remove all the SR and higher cards. I know Rora Paragon is banned in the format already. Mm, I'm pretty sure Fire Prison's banned too. Mm, deck Lockdown, Earth Shattering, Digit Jamming. Mm, In our flood gates one. Oh, I can just add Zap Mustang. Zap Mustang to this list. Are you practicing in our tournament or something? Yeah. Is Tier Limit Scream really a floodgate? Yeah, it lowers the attack of monsters by 500. Okay. Um, I want to see if this extra deck has NR cards in it. Uh, is Cactus Cactus Bouncer? Cactus. It is an SR. I thought so. 
What about scary moth? Scary moth. Oh, ooh, that's a rare. What about fog king? Fog king. Ooh, that's a rare. Okay, scary moth and fog king will go in the next one. 65 cards, huh? Let me remove a couple of cards that are garbage. Dice die. Tyrant tantrum. Desk counter blow. Recliflice. Steering contest. Marshmallow. Uh, the bamboo swords. This card. Um, I know messenger piece is not in there. Export. Okay, we need to make this unlimited. Auto import. Watt Kingdom and Convulsion of Nature are not in here. Damn it. Exit. Watt Kingdom. Right, right. Convulsion of Nature is not in Master Duel. Convulsion. There it is. Export. Create new. Uh, unlimited. A hero stream? This is a dual log stream! Yeah, this takes forever. Oh my god, I've been going through merch recently, and I have this really cool idea where, like, what if there was D&D &D dice, but they had my little spider inside of them? You know, like, those dice where you can put, like, little characters inside of it? I was like, that's so cool! So I'm currently talking to someone to see if I can get that made. I'd be like, this would be the coolest thing ever! Even cooler than I don't know. I really want to make a like a mystery box. I want to buy five copies of Bonfire and like sell merch with the mystery box. But I feel like I'm not allowed to do that. The spider dice? Yeah, the spider dice sound like such a good idea, right? I was like, how did I never think of this before? Well, probably because like I have no idea how to make them. But that's why I'm working with someone right now. <sighs> okay, so these... Let me get rid of all of the NR, SRs, and above. Fuck! No! 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 Okay, let's get rid of this one. Gotta be careful. Staring contest is an SR. Wow, you can't have fun with anything nowadays. Fun is canceled. In our floodgates too. Fun is canceled. You love the mystery packs, they're so fun to open, right? Swore. Has this channel always existed? Yeah, it's actually existed before my other one. Funny thing is, this channel was originally called The Duologues. And then, I changed the name of this channel to Huruma Red in order to free up the name The Duologues so that I could take the name The Duologues on a brand new channel, <laughs> which is the other one. <laughs> So, the original name of this channel was actually The Duologues. Because when I first started YouTube, I didn't have a computer good enough to stream World of Warcraft, but I could stream Yu-Gi-Oh! So I thought it made sense to have my Twitch channel named after my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. 
But Haruma Red X was taken, but Haruma Red wasn't for some reason. Story behind your name. I was a huge fan of iShield 21. And when I decided to do YouTube, I just, um, I didn't change the name of the channel. I just left it as is. That was just the name of my personal channel. Because, like, whenever I signed up for websites, I would always want to have the name of a color. But colors were always taken because, of course, they are. So I would always just add an anime character I liked at the time in addition to a color. So, you know, like, Haruma Red or Haruma Blue or Kayon Gold. Like, my main priest for a long time, its name was, like, Haruma Gold. It was just, you know, a color plus an anime character that I liked. That's all it was. You say yellow? Ugh, I would never name it after a Yu-Gi-Oh character. So this is the OG Duologues account? It is, actually. Final Battle of Golgonda? Final Battle is banned in NR format. Okay, Floodgates number four. Royal Prison, Narrow Pass, Tull Hike, Tyrant's Throw. The effects of effect monsters activate in the hand or the field cannot be activated. Scrubbed Raid. Um, Soul Levy. Okay, YDK, Export. Unlimited. Uh, totem Pole. God damn it. Totem Pole is not in Master Duel? That's fine. I like Totem Pole. It blocks three attacks and then dies. You thought her red was when you burst your blood vessels in your ass? No. I was named way before that. Also, how do you know about that? Haha, there's a name of Discord. You should have named your channel Interplanetary Matter Space Transporter. Why? That's dumb. Whoa, look at all these NR floodgates. Let's go through and remove all high rarity cards. Okay, in our floodgates three. Is that DNA surgery for the graveyard? Yeah. Because dual logs is basic? What? You guys think I'm basic? Is that because I'm very... Cool and mysterious. Uh, export. Mm. Procession of the Tear Jar. The fuck is Procession of the Tear Jar? Oh, that card. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to do that. Export. Hmm. 
extra gate. <gasps> Wait, can you play the Gaia cards in our format? I doubt it. Hmm. Whew. Sasuke Samurai is a floodgate. Yeah. In our floodgates four. Oh, I forgot to remove the non in our cards. Type so fast. What? I'm not typing fast. This is my program. Okay. In our floodgates. Sheesh, these are all just extra get extra deck floodgates. Let me clear up my extra deck of a few cards. And then all of these. Fifty-six cards. This looks like it's an OCG exclusive. YDK export. That is because he's a genius. I'm glad you guys understand. Magician of Black Chaos Max. Oh, I forgot that card's not in Master Duel. The Magician of Black Chaos Max, and will never be added to Master Duel. In fact. YDK export cancel Finally a Yu-Gi-Oh stream Yu-Gi-Oh what's that <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh what is that ha 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 Yu-Gi-Oh is that like the card game? Ha 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 ha! Yu-Gi-Oh! You mean lame. Lame-o. Ha ha ha! No Kaz Kazuki Takahashi cards? Yes, exactly. You can't play any Kazuki Takahashi cards. Good morning. It's the middle of the day. What do you mean, good morning? <sighs> oh, floodgates five. This is the last one, right? Let's see. All of these extra deck monsters are in our SR and above. Oh, get rid of that one, and that one, and that one, 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 okay. That was it, right? And then these are all the Floodgate Monstars. Wait, why don't I just do this one? YDK export. Mm. Auto export. What is this abomination? Floodgates. Jinzo, Tutulon, Fog King, Guard Dog, Scary Moth, Beat Trooper, Dead Coseta. 
Well, that's a lot of NRs. I mean, SRs and URs. Isn't Messenger a piece of rare? Mmm. -hmm. Pretty sure Cloud Castle is on this list. <gasps> Cloud Castle. Okay, Consecrated Light is banned in NR format. Banisher of the Light is banned. Banisher of the Radiance is banned. Oh, uh, ooh, quarantine. Okay. Synchro Zone is a rare? Yeah, but it's banned in, in our format. All right. So these are all of the best Floodgate monsters. I'm thinking I could have a deck that special summons out Zap Mustang, or I could have a token deck that just allows me to tribute for the tribute summon Floodgates. NR has a ban list? Yeah, for the event I'm going to be part of. Um, the tribute summons, I could have higher quality... Oh, Roar Repair Gun's also banned in that. I could have higher quality floodgates. Like a Morphage Sloth and Scary Moth. These are my two best tribute summon floodgates. And then Gendo the Aesthetic Monk requires protection. Messenger. Messenger. No, it's an SR. I was pretty sure it was an SR. Um, so Scary Moth and Sloth are the two Floodgate boss monsters, but they're kind of hard to go into. If you're looking for level 4s, Zap Mustang is a really good one. So is Gendo the Aesthetic Monk. And even Justice Bringer is not half bad. We could just play those three cards and then find a way to special summon them. This one won't really work. Wicked Avatar has some things. Angel 07 is nice in theory, but requires two monsters, so it's unreliable. Hmm. So those are the monsters we have available. We come over here to NR Floodgates number one. Are there anything else that we have? Koakimiri Beetle. No, not really. It doesn't play test very well. Um, this is a high attack point monster, but it doesn't play test very well. Gravekeeper Servant, Insect Barrier, <gasps> Stumbling. Ooh. Stumbling, it's tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Let me look at the band list real quick. Um, band list. Let's see, is stumbling on the band list? With the band cards, we have Clockwork Knight, Decisive Battle. Dimensional Fissure, Fire Prison, Labyrinth Setup, and Summoning Curse. Which means Level Limit Area B and Stumbling are usable. 
play Toll Hike. Let me see if that one's banned. Rise to full height, red screen, light imprisoned mirror. Okay, and then let's see Lost Wind, Metal Foes Combination, Counter, Memories, uh, Disciple. <gasps> Toll Hike. Wait, Burden of the Mighty is also on here? Hmm. There will be a lot of level monsters. That might work. The thing is, there's also lots of spell trap removal in this format. Oh, Clockwork Knight is banned. I like this card because it locks out monster effects, but it's kind of hard to activate. Goddess Skulled Oracle. Wait, DNA Surgery is live? Huh. Memories of an Adversary? Burden of the Mighty. So... That's an option. That's an option. That's an option. Okay, we might as well just craft the ones that aren't owned. Okay. Um, floodgates number two. Let's see, toll. <gasps> Chain energy. Ooh, that might work. Monsters can attack the turn they're summoned. Good. Terminal world. No, skips main phase two. If your opponent controls three more monsters, they cannot declare an attack. Stumbling them a little bit to a little Shika Shogun would be pretty fun. Or some of like the super heavy samurais I can attack in defense position. But generally, you just want to play Floodgate monsters. Once per turn, when an opponent declares an attack, while you control two face-up defense position monsters, you can target the attack monster and negate the attack. <gasps> Double defender. Your opponent cannot target face-up attack position monsters with zero attack for attacks. While you control no monsters, monsters your opponent controls cannot declare attacks. If you control a monster, or if your opponent has five or more cards in their hand, destroy this card. Can I win without playing any monsters in my deck? Rhetorical question. Of course I can. Ooh, Wonder Balloons. They can also just pop this card with spell trap removal, though. Terminal World next. If you spell some monsters in an extra monster zone, you can target one monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Move that target to the zone in the same column. <gasps> Gingerbread House to pop their cards. We can make them fatter and fatter and fatter and then boom. War Rock Medium. Wait, if we play Gingerbread House and Swords of Burning Light and then like Be Gone Knave and Death Counter Blow. And then I could play Smile Potion. Ooh. Ooh. I'll put three copies of the cards that I'm thinking of. Be gone, Knave. Death Counter Blow. During your turn, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Not good enough. Kashtira Preparations. This destroys itself if I have a monster out. Double Defender. That's a silly card. Zero Lock is a silly card. You can discard one card. Destroy. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard one card to negate the attack. Destroy this card after the third phase after activation. What does this do? When a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, if you have a ninja monster, have the current attack of that special summoned monster. Damn! Neither player can use that zone. What are the ninja cards available at this rarity? Ninja. Ninjutsu! Anything good? Holy shit! This is a good card. <gasps> when this card is no more flipped face up, you can target up to two face up monsters in the field, change the face down defense position, and if you do, any opponent's monsters that are flipped face up by this effect cannot change the battle position. If a monster on the field is flipped face up while this monster is face down, 
Target one card when it controls, destroy it. Wait, how do you get this card out, though? When he stays in the deck? How the hell do you get this card out, though? <laughs> Penguin Ninja? Wait, can you play penguins in this event? <gasps> Ninjutsu Art! Super Duplication... None of the good ninja monsters are available, though. Special summon one ninja monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh wait, this one can get out. Geo is fun with double hooking. Discard him, then summon him and flip himself back down to break the connection. Oh, I didn't even think about double hooking. Wait, double hooking's available in this format? I could use Depth Amulet to get cards in the graveyard. Wasn't there other cards that discard? And play Zazank? Zazank? What's Zazank? Which one is Zazank? I can't believe the field spells an SR here, but it's a rare quality over in Master Duel. It's the Karakari Ninja. Wait, why would you want to play this card? It's just like a flip effect. <laughs> flip effects suck. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you could play this one. Is there a way to search out this card in, in our ninjas? <sighs> The Valent Ninja. Hmm. Well, the main searcher is SR. It's the Karakuri Ninja. Does this search him out? The equipped monster gains 500 attack, is also treated as a ninja monster, you can only affect once per turn. You can banish a ninja monster from the grave, then target one card in the field, destroy it. If this card is sent to fill the graveyard, target one of your banished ninja monsters, add it to your hand, or special summon it in face down defense position. This card is always treated as a ninja card. When a ninja monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. If this face up card in its owner's field zone has left the field because of an opponent's card effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, target number no ninja monsters with different names in your graveyard, special summon them. Hmm. Hmm. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target face up ninja monsters except this card. Your opponent cannot target face up ninja monsters the card effects of this card. If this card is destroyed by battles under the graveyard. You can add one ninja monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, this is a searcher. I can play a ninja deck. A ninja beast, wing beast, or insect. Warrior. Hmm. Oh, a notebook is at the lower rarity, too. He's rock, too. He is, but like, I don't think any of the cards I have available to me can search out rock monsters. No rock lobsters. And that's a rock lobster. Rock, rock, rock lobster. Floodgates number three. Okay. Are any of these good? Ooh, gravity bind. This card can only be activated when both players have two monsters or less on their respective sides of the field. Both players can only normal summon two additional times. That's good. Um, by two spell cards on the field, the selected 
cards cannot be activated. Sanguine Swamp. <gasps> Scrub Raid? Oh. Oh, that's really good. But it was a rock. A rock lobster. Effects of effect monsters in the hand cannot be activated. Oh, that's really good. Tyrant Tummy Egg. Neither player can spell summon level 6 or higher monsters. That's pretty good. If a non-water monster is normal or special summon while you control a water monster, change it to defense position. Um, level 4 or higher monsters cannot attack directly. How is Bubblebringer not banned? They have like every other card in the game which can negate all attacks. But Bubblebringer, well, I guess because you can just go into a Link monster and go right through it. It's a rock, a rock lobster. Uh, once per turn to a monster, your opponent controls is destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Target one card in the field and destroy it. Uh, target level five or higher monster in the field. It gains a thousand attack till the end of this turn. Negate any opponent's spell effects. Activate in the same column. <gasps> Toll Hike. I love Toll Hike. Soul Levy. Had Judging. Activate this card only if your opponent controls a card in the set cards column. Return all other cards in this card's column to the hand. And neither player can use the unused zones in this card's column. Is this the right channel? Yes. <laughs> Okay. This deck cannot be used because it has... Here, let me get rid of some cards. I will never, ever, ever, ever use. Okay, so that was Floodgate deck number three. Let's take a look at Floodgate level four. Uh-huh. When this card is a bounce into the graveyard, target two set spell traps. While this card is in the graveyard, those set cards cannot be activated. Hmm. Ancient Gear Cannon, Photon Cerberus, Mjolnir. Declare one type of monster. Any monster to declared type cannot declare an attack. The turn it is normal summon, flip summoned, or special summoned. Ooh, once you get four more clock counters, you do not take battle damage. <gasps> Dreadmaster. This card is spelled to summon by Clock Tower Prison. Destroy all monsters you control, except Destiny Hero Monsters. Also, after that, you can spell to summon up to two Destiny Hero Monsters from your graveyard. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But after four turns, I get immunity to damage. Well, tentatively, during main phase one, if the turn player conducts their third summon, it becomes the end phase. Wait, Ghost Tricks? Ghost Trick Jack Frost is low rarity, at the very least. <gasps> Temple of the Mind's Eye! I could play this with my Begone Knave deck. So there's one counter on this card. This card with six counters cannot be destroyed by card effects. The start of each main phase one, if this card has six counters, the turn player can activate this effect. They send this card to the graveyard, and if they do, they send all special summon monsters their opponent controls to the graveyard. Ooh. Each time a monster is special summon, place one summon counter on this card. This card with six summon counters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Holy moly, at the start of each main phase one, if this card has six counters on it, the turn player can activate the effect. Send all special monsters their opponent controls to the graveyard. Most of the Phantasm Spirals are in R. Oh, yeah, for the Umi control deck. Galloping Gaia. Hmm. 
Dang it, all the good cards are high rarity. Summon over. It seems like as long as you don't summon any cards, this will always be live. As long as you don't special summon. Is this a floodgate? Your opponent can activate card effects during the battle phase. While you control a monster that is equipped with an equip card, all monsters your opponent controls that can attack must attack. Target one face-up monster you control, return that face-up monster to the hand, and if you do, for the rest of this player, neither player can activate the effects of cards with the return to cards name. Wow, that's super specific. Clockwork is banned, yes. And the last one, Floodgates 5. Guard Dog. Flip. Continuous Trap. While a ghost trick monster is on the field, your opponent cannot flip summon. <gasps> Whoa, you could lock down your opponent with that. The S Force. Your opponent can activate trap cards during the battle phase. Wow, that's crazy. <sighs> Hmm. Whose tournament are you joining in? I don't remember. They asked me to join and I said, sure, I guess, whatever. Gendo the Ascended Monk. That's it. All these other ones suck. For Legacy Pawns, a generic flip support or junk sleep. World Legacy Pawns. Oh, there's also this one other card that flips monsters over. Target one face down monster you control, change it to face up defense or attack position. Is it one of them only? No. Hmm. The problem is like if you go second, the strategy doesn't work. I need something that works when you go first. View and pay the invoice. <sighs> oh, just don't go second. What are some available going second cards in the NR format? Hmm. There are those column cards. Is this how you spell column? A lot of these are only useful going second. Like Broken Line. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated in this card's column, while this card is set, Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Going second counter varies, perhaps? <laughs> when this card is set, target one card on the field in this card's column and destroy it. Fuse line. If all zones in this card's column are occupied while this card's set, destroy all cards in this card's column. Oh, mech knights. And then the S Force. Each monster of your opponent's monsters in the same column as an S Force cannot change its battle position. 
If this card is no more special summon, target a phase up monster opponent controls, change its battle position. Shuffle this card and any face up monsters in this column into the deck. Hmm. Most Amorph Mage are NR, and all of them are Floodgates. Yeah, but Amorph Mages suck. That's the problem with Amorph Mages. Damn, I could play a Column deck. Like, legit. What does this one do? Each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as an S-Force monster cannot be used as material for a Link Summon of a Link 3 or higher monster. If this card is no more special summon, you can special summon an S-Force monster from your hand in attack position. You have never seen that trap card ever. Column base mechanics! <laughs> you saw column control in the LCS and it's silly. Right? I'm gonna build a column deck. That sounds funny. I just went through all this effort to look at all the floodgates. But give me a second. I'm gonna put all usable floodgates in here. Floodgates one. Let's see here. We have Justice Bringer. Justice Bringer. Um Rod Lord. Zap Mustang. Zap Mustang. Uh, Hound. Mechanical Hound. This card is Tribute Summoned. It gains its effect. Neither player can activate effect monsters. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, Sloth. Wait, what is Pain? A uh, Morph. Yeah, Pain is an SR. Um, Stumbling. Uh, the Dark Door. The Dark Door. Um, Level Limit Area B. Area B. Level Limit Area B. Uh, Burden. Burden. Mm, I think that was it from this bunch. Okay, and then number two. We have Geo. Geo. Uh, chain Energy. Bog Spirit. Biog Spirit Um Double Defender Uh Swords of Burning Light Swords of Burning Light Gingerbread House Smile Potion If your opponent controls a monster while you control no monsters, you control no monsters. Ooh, the Time Lords have good effects while you control no monsters. <gasps> the Cash Tyrants can come out while you control no monsters. The Wandering Griffin Rider. How many swords of cards can you run? There's quite a few. Are you participating in stage two? Nope. Hmm. These are all monsters. I don't care about monsters. I care about spell traps. <gasps> Water of life can be activated while you control no monsters. 
Target one bunch of graveyard, spell doesn't, but its effects are negated. Also banish it during the end phase. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one card you control, shuffle it into your deck, then draw one card. Also during the end phase, banish one card from your hand. That doesn't seem very good. <gasps> Jamming waves. Oh yeah, the Sky Striker cards are really good going second. Assuming you get enough spell cards in the graveyard first. Void Barrier. Live Twin Channel. When a monster declares an attack, tribute a Keys to Kill or Leak Kill, negate the attack. During the end phase, you can target, shuffle into your deck, or if you can roll monsters, add it to your hand instead. Special summon means no monsters in the main zones, though. SS. Swords of Burning Light, you mean? Or are you talking about something else? Special summon a Rose Dragon or Plant Monster from your hand. Oh yeah, Haunted Shrine. Ooh, the Golden Apples! Hmm. Recoded alive. If you control a monster, spell to summon the extra deck. Target one phase that monster your opponent controls, spell to summon from the extra deck. Take control of it until the end phase. You cannot special summon during the turn you activate this effect. Wow, that sucks. You have to find a way to tribute it for it to be useful. Sky Strikers don't allow for the main zone. I know. That's why I put it into this thing. All right, I was looking at other cards. Um, be gone, Knave. Be gone. Be gone, Knave. We'll put Fairy Box in here because Fairy Box is actually pretty good. Uh, Death Counter Blow. Death Counter Blow. And Depth Amulet. Deep Amulet. Uh, I'll just put Scrub Raid in here. Scrubbed Raid. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this card, like, secretly good? Monsters your opponent control lose 100 attack for each card you control. If your Ignister monster battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. When your Ignister monster is destroyed by battle, you can target a Cypress monster with 2300 attack in your graveyard, special summon it, you can only effect once per turn. Monsters your opponent control lose 100 attack for each card you control. So if you have 5 set cards plus a field zone, that's 600 attack. Which is almost as good as Clockwork Knight! And if you have 2 of them... <gasps> AI... Challenge. Cash Tira Preparations... Eh, whatever. Cash Tira. Cash Tira Preparations and Ogre. How come censorship for death is inconsistent? Sometimes the word death is swapped for doom, demise, and death. Oh, and Destiny Board, which is final? I don't know. Their whole thing is inconsistent with these kinds of rulings and stuff. Okay, that was number three, right? Or was that number two? Yeah, it was number two. So now we're at number three. Would Cauldron of the Old Man work? Yeah, if it was... Wait, is Cauldron low rarity? Cauldron. Old Man. No way. Cauldron is low rarity? C A U L drawn. I I just assumed it was a higher rarity card. I didn't think it'd be allowed. Yeah, no, it's not banned. It wasn't on the ban list. Gravity bind. Gravity bind. Narrow pass. Mm. Zing. Uh, 
Nice. Zing Zen Hu. Each player activates a trap card. They take a thousand damage immediately after it resolves. Scrub Raid. I already put that in there. Tyrant's Tyraid. Tyraid. Uh, Bubble Bringer. Toll Hike. Soul Levy. Can only link summon once while it's on the board. Okay. Floodgates four. I'm just trying to get all of the good cards. Clock Tower. Clock Tower Prison. And Temple of the Mind's Eye. Temple of the Mind's Eye. Wait, Temple of Skulls. Ooh, that's that'd be a good idea for a short. Temple of Skulls. Um, okay, anything else from this? No, it's just those two cards. And then Floodgates 5. Uh, basically just Gendo. Quarantine, I guess. Quarantine. Mm. Zero, zero in our floodgates. Oh shit, I hope I didn't save over my cards by accident. Oh. For a second. Zero zero in our floodgates. Okay, so we could do a column base deck. Column. Column. Dim. Column. Dim dim. Let's see, what are the best column base? I'm pretty sure World Shield is banned, because that's this will be really good. Yeah, World Shield is definitely banned. Oh, <gasps> Platina. Target one of your banished S Force monsters, special summon, you can only inspect once per turn. Take this card special summon, target an S Force monster in your graveyard, except S Force La Police Well, special summon it, banish an S Force card, destroy all monsters in the same column as your S Force monsters. To the same column. If this card is normal or special summon to add an S Force card, I don't have a way to special summon the high level S Force monsters. Rotom! In the main monster zone, it's immune to card effects. Monsters in this card's column cannot activate their effects. Oh, you can put it into, like, one of the side columns. Um, each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as an S-Force monster cannot be used as material for a Link Summon. If this card is no more special, special summon S-Force monster from your hand in attack position. Well, that's good. Doc, during your player's turn, you can activate a Magical Musketeer card from your hand. Spell Trap Card Zone, add a Magical Musketeer card. No Magical Musketeers. I know this card's not super good. The Kyoto Spirit. I don't want to play any of the Valent cards. S-Force Bridgehead. When this card is activated, you can add an S-Force monster from your deck to your hand. 
When your opponent's monster declares an attack on your S-Force monster in its same column, you can activate this effect. That monster you control cannot be destroyed by that battle. You can only use this effect once per turn. You can only activate one S-Force Brigade Bridgehead while well, it searches. Uh, target one monster in your main monster zone. Move that target to another one of your main monster zones. Uh, if all zones in this card's column are occupied while this card is set, destroy all cards in this column. Your opponent can't target this card card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Damn it. Only your opponent's card effects. Hmm. While this card is set, target one card in the field in this card's column and destroy it. Negate any card effect that activates in this card's column. Mech Knights. So the really good one that searches is not available. Target one spell trap card in this card's column and destroy it. And special summon mech knight monster from your hand. Move it to the mind monster zone. Hmm, and then a bunch of magical musketeer cards. Ooh, an S-Force card. Your opponent cannot target any of their monsters in the same column as one of your S-Force monsters with card effects. Any of their monsters in the same column as one of your S-Force monsters with card effect. When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, quick effect, you can banish one S-Force card from your hand and destroy that monster. When an opponent's monster your opponent controls activates its effect, destroy, banish an S-Force card from your hand, destroy that monster. Well, that seems good. Isn't there the Iron Dragon card? Iron Dragon Tiamaton? Yes. S-Force? Professor D Gamma. Each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as an S-Force monster cannot change its battle position. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change its battle position. Oh. It can lock down monsters. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls in this card's column. Move this card you control to another one of your main monsters, and if you do, move that monster to their main monster zone in this card's column, and then place one burn-up counter in this card. Monsters with burn-up counters lose two in attack and defense for each burn-up counter on it. Move that monster to a main monster zone. So it's a quick effect that moves my opponent's monsters around. Mmm, that might be useful. No space collapse? What? Um, you can target one face of card in either spell and trap card zone, return to the hand. If this card is in the monster zone, moves to another main monster zone. If a valence is on the field zone, or if you control Valent, a water violet monster, special with this card from a monster zone to its same column. I don't think I can use those cards. And the Kendo Spirits, all they do is bounce cards in the farmost zones. Oh, during your main zone, you special summon this card to main monster zone in the same column. Also, you cannot special summon non valence monsters the rest of this turn. During your main phase, if you control this special summon card, you can place one face-up pendulum valence monster from your extra deck face-up in your spell and trap card zone. Uh, if this card in the monster zone moves to the monster zone, place one face-up valence pendulum monster extra deck in your pendulum zone. Hmm. Best level one fairy tuner. Not half bad, so... During your main phase, special summon this to a main monster zone. Also, you cannot special summon non valent monsters for the rest of this turn, except for the extra deck. You can target one effect monster in the field, toss a coin. If the result is heads, negate the effect. If the result is tails, have its attack. If this card in the monster zone moves to the main monster zone, you can target one card in the field, toss a coin. If the result is heads, destroy it, or if it's tails, return to the hand. Hmm. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll add some valence in here too. The weather canvas. We equip only to a link monster. Once per turn, you can move the equipped monster to a main monster zone. 
Uh, when this card is activated, you can target one of your banished Mech Knight monsters or World Legacy cards. Special summon this card. Uh, when you special summon a monster to the extra monster zone, you can target one monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Move that card to their zone in the same column as the extra deck monster. When your opponent special summons a monster extra monster zone, you can target one monster in your main zone. Move that monster to the target to the same zone as the column as the extra deck monster. These effects cannot be activated in the damage step. Oh! So, I could move my card into the same column as one of their cards. Hmm. That could be useful. It's the Duologue's Alter Ego, known for amazing contest top 10 raid bosses. Top 10 raid bosses updated. <laughs> Shut up. Are we playing Sign at Switch? Maybe. Aren't the Valent cards xenophobic? They are, but I'm not going to be special summoning anything else, so it's fine. If your opponent controls a monster, target one of your S-Force monsters that is banished or in a graveyard. Special summon it to the same field as one of your opponent's monsters. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Target an S-Force monster you control. Move that card to another of your main monster zones. You can only use one per turn. That's good. Uh, when this card's activated, target level 5 or higher monster on the field. It gains down attack defense. Negate any spell effects. Blah, blah, blah. Once per turn, at the start of the damage step, if your monster battles a monster in the same column, you can return that monster and any other cards as column to the hand. You'll use effect once per turn. Once per chain. Activate this card only if your opponent controls a card in this set card's column. Return all other cards in this card's column to the hand. Neither player can use the unused zones in this card's column. You can only use one effect per turn. You can only control one sour scheduling. Uh, I don't really want to use that. Prey of Gyragumo. Destroy one card in this card's column. Okay, so... S-Force. Move this card special summon. Target S-Force monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Ignores my shit post. I didn't ignore it. Shut up. Add an S-Force card for your deck to your hand. <gasps> Activate one of the following effects. Spell some S-Force monster in your hand. Defense vision. Target S-Force monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. The S-Force showdown. Ooh. Okay, Valence. Let's see. Valence. Valence. Let's get rid of the Mech Knights. And the Ghost Bird Bombardment. And we'll get rid of some Tiamats. How do you spell Valent? Valence. Move that monster. You can target one other monster in either main monster zone. Move that monster to an adjacent monster zone. If this card in the monster zone moves to another main monster zone, you can target one Valent monster in your spell and trap card zone and special summon it to the main zone. If a Valent monster in the field zone or a water monster, special summon this card. Oh, okay. What does this one do? Hello there, Jinzo. Don't you need three UR fills for your Valent? No. I'm just looking for the good ones. If you control this special summoned card, you can target one other Valent monster in main monster zone, move that monster to an adjacent zone. If this card in the monster zone moves to another monster zone, you can target one card in either player's pendulum zone, place it face up in its adjacent spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. You can target one card in either player's pendulum zone, place it face up in an adjacent spell and trap card zone. Okay, so that's not super useful outside of Valen's decks. Um, Valen Warrior, Duke, I assume this one has the same effect. Mm, or if you control a fire monster. Duke Marquise, 
Or if you control a fire, valence, no. Archer, what about Viscount? During your main phase, spell some of this card to your main monster zone in its same column. Also, you cannot spell summon non valent monsters for the rest of this turn, except from the extra deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Monster effect. During your main phase, if you control the spell to summon card, target a face up valent monster in your extra deck. Face up your spell trap card zone. Okay, so the only good one is Archer, where when it's moved, it has disruption. Watt Kinetic Puppeteer. Send this card from your hand to the graveyard, target one monster your opponent controls, move that card to another one of their main monster zones. Um, let's see here. There's also... Sinet Switch. Target one monster in your main monster zone, move that target to another one of your main monster zones. Sinet Switch. Ah, here it is. Horizontal. <laughs> Choose one monster, your opponent either. The other monsters they control, your opponent must control three or more monsters for you to activate and resolve this effect. Switch point. Activate only when a monster your opponent controls is targeted by a spell, trap, or effect monster's effect that destroys the monster on the field. Switch that target to an appropriate monster your opponent controls. Mr. Logs, yes. Warhammer, yes, they do represent those things that you just said. Hi, hello there. Um, can only attack certain monsters, can be used as a link summon, can conduct the battle phase. Actually, let me see if there's any cool tech for these kinds of cards. S Force deck 2023. Nobody talks about this new broken Link 1. Security Force explained. Well, actually, let me see if they have S Force in decks. You are under arrest for topping with this list. Control. Okay, dueling book. Let's take a look at an S Force list. Whoa, what the fuck? This is so worked up. I used to fit on here so nicely. What happened? Well, whatever. Votus, Sirene Psychic Witch. You gain too much weight? What the hell are you guys talking about? You have a crush on Roar Kalos too? I don't have a crush on anyone. S4 Specimen. If your opponent controls a monster, target one of your S4 monsters is banished during your graveyard. Wait, don't I have this card in here already? Yeah. 
Torrental Tribute, Lost Winds, Showdown. So let's see, they're playing Razor, Gravitino, Orifest, and only Palatina. They don't play the other cards. You asked why you didn't fit? Oh. Wait, they don't play D-Gamma, though? When this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one Psychotype monster or 2,000 or less attack from your deck. During next standby phase, this card is... Special summon the monster banished by the effect. It stays in the graveyard, bring it out. Wait, why are they playing Voitus? Do you play prefer Lady Labyrinth or Dia Bellstar? Yes. They don't play this one at all? Destroy all opponents' monsters in the same column as your S-Force monsters. This seems really good. How come they don't play it? What does La Platina do? Uh, each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as your S-Force monsters lose 600 attack. You can target one of your banished S-Force monsters and special summon it. Oh. Gamma bad? No, it's not. It forces battle position changes. That's so good. Orifice Razor. Each of your opponent's monsters is banished when leaves the field. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add an S-Force card from your deck to your hand. Ooh, that is pretty good. Fuse line. The start of the damage step. If your monster battles an opponent's monster in the same column, you can return your monster and any cards in the column to the hand. Fuse line. I like this card. Destroy all cards in the same column. Special summon it. I can see why Gravitio is played. Is Gravity Bind slash Lemo Livet in R? It sure is. Hmm. They might be banned. No, they're not. I have the ban list up. It's all good. Wow, there are so many cards. The FTK. Okay, so this is my column deck. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Wait, there is no extra deck? Oh, there is an extra deck for it. Uh, batch generate cards not owned. Let's see here. We have Exosister Sister, Asophia Tilio. Um, Gukin ship. Gukin. Uh, that's how you spell it, right? Gun. Gunkin ship. Um, Black ship of corn. Gravity was number two best S force. Who's number one best S force? Uh, Volcanosaurus. Volcano. It's a cool gimmick most people will never be prepared for. Yeah, no one's gonna know what hit them. Malevolent Sin. Number 70. Is this the dual logs? Yeah. Heartland. Heartland. Um, Photon. Paploperative. P A P. P oh pill Pat Pill uh Mech Beast Gram Pulse uh Berserk Bezek <laughs> Berserker Where is it at? There it is. Uh, virus, 
Swordsman, Geonator, Crazy Box, Doko, Crazy Box sucks. Power Code. I'm trying to win here. Triple Burst Dragon. Okay, and then... S-Force. Going second. Okay, a going second. Idiot's Guides to S-Force. Ooh, let's watch Hello, this. Hello, everyone. Golden Nova here. Today, we're going to talk about S-Force. They've got a lot of interesting lore implications and... What are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm going to talk about the lore of S-Force. Thought it'd be fun, you know? A little crossover episode and all that. No. What? Go away. This is my video. Yeah, but I thought... Ah! 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 S-Force is really interesting. I think it's the first column-based deck since Mech Knights. They're a control, lockdown kind of deck, and right now they're a bit lacking. Gotta wait until Lightning Overdrive to get their best card, but they're still a playable deck right now. Wait, what was their the best card? Starter. Have Gravitino and Rappa. Hmm, I wonder if she's related to Parappa. <gasps> anyway, had these two and summon Rappa. Use this effect to banish Gravitino and then bounce Rappa back to hand to summon Platina from the deck. Platina, target Gravitino to special summon it. Effect on summon, add showdown to summon Rappa. Link all three into Justifier, which is a one monster in a gate for over half the board and battle protection. You can also run Eddie, because Rappa is 800 attack and 1k defense. We call that unintended synergy, but this does lock you out of the extra deck for the turn, so I only recommend playing it in back row heavy builds, where you end on a bunch of defenders and set cards instead of Justifier. This deck is just... okay. You'd be better off splashing it in something else. I really think that this deck could be competent on its own once we get the trap card and edge laser, but if someone can find a way to mix S-Force with Mech Knight to have complete control over the columns, I think this could potentially be rogue or maybe even tier 3 status. Moving, shifting, negating, dragging. Oh, It'd be it's so cool to just watch it get it's played. An SR It'd be card. like chess with all the positioning. Also, hey, subscribe. It would really help me out. Rapper, the rapper. Oh, I shouldn't crush my water bottles under my mic like that. Whoa, 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 whoops. Is there a going second deck? Blind going second? Hmm. Uh, second. Second of April. Damn it. They don't have blind going second decks. Engine, Cubic, Fluffle, Gene Raider, Hands, Monarchs, Sharks. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. <laughs> Spider, Striker, Tindingle, the Tier Limit Engine, Nemesis, Metal Foes, Hands, Drivers the Quandrax variant? The fuck is Quandrax? To Synchro Ladder. What is this document? Um, it's like the thing. It's the document on all of this stuff. That's where the ban list comes from, too. Cubic Engine, a stall engine that negates your opponent's monster effects on the attack, can also become a decent rank 1 engine into Lionheart. Lazy literally copied so hard the engine became good, so... Lazy crap. Three cubes, three cubic ascension, option, a lion heart. Condemned Maiden. Condemned Maiden, assault mode, one card synchro engine for your normal, it can make synchro six to nine. Uh, a burnt engine using an unaffected monster, it floats into a 3k body that can revive the reborn upon being destroyed. Holy shit! First drawn Quandrax is good. Synchro engine designed to synchro ladder into your opponent's turn as an interrupter. First drawn Quandrax. The most generic discard slash mill engine. Toy vendor, fluffle bear, fluffle wings, fluffle dog, fluffle. Uh, creates interruptions for a couple turns at no cost. Beware of bricking. The most generic discard slash mill engine. Ooh. That gives me a nice idea. 
Simple movement for punishing your opponent. Allow the use of Kashtira Ogre. Wait, Kashtira, three Kashtira Ogre. Uh, as well as the optional use of Dark Armed in any rank seven deck. Psychic. Um. When this card in the field is destroyed, banish a psychic monster, 2,000 or less attack from your deck. I'll play one copy of this card. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Cash. Tira. It's three Cash Tira Ogres. One to two Cash Tira Preparations. Three Psy Beast. One to two Dark Armed, the Dark Dragon of Annihilation. A Psy Beast. When this card's normal summon, you can banish one psychic monster from your deck, and if you do, this card's level becomes a level of that monster. Ooh. Wait, doesn't La Platina special summon an S Force monster that's banished? Isn't boss stage banned? I think so. Tribute Engine, definitely the best one at this point. Literally was used in a meta deck. The Monarch Vassals. Wait, the Monarch Vassals are legal? Hmm. The Numbers, Rank 2 Engine, Ojamas. Theoretically infinite resources as long as you can get Harp into the Graveyard and Resolve War Construction. Very useful for a deck milling or discarding. Allows you to bring up Battle Protected, Rank 4s. One card Engines, Spiders, Striker. Allows to make one card Links. Allows you to search for any flip card. Allows you to turn your deck into a fusion oriented mill deck at the top. <gasps> Tier Laments! What's a decent NR synchros? There are no good decent NR synchros. That's the thing, they all suck. Okay. So the Fluffle Engine could be useful for a deck I had an idea for. Hmm. The problem is this format plays lots of back row removal. Old Entity Hastor is good? I mean, yeah, I guess. We'll play two of these. We'll get rid of this card. Get rid of once per turn, target one face up monster your opponent controls in this card's column. Move this card, you can. Oh, in this card's column only. Okay, let's get rid of that. La Platina. Uh, we can go down to one archer. Uh, staring contest. Showdown. Beast Kings Unleashed. Broken Line. I also want to play. Um. What are good going second cards in in our format? <laughs> I think I have them saved over here. Brain control? Oh. Now there's an idea. <gasps> Forbidden chalice, defense zone. Three copies of what kinetic puppeteer? No, shut up. Spider. Hmm. I can play one copy of Lost Winds. Oh, Tenny. Duh. I can just play Vishuda. And loyal um, Guan Yun. Ooh, the Melfi engine is also available. Defense zone is very interesting. Yeah, I'll probably play that one of my versions of this. Okay, so the Tenyi engine is available. And so is Loyal Guan Yun. And also the Melfi engine just randomly. Which gives me interruption with Mary Melfi's. S-Force going second. Okay. Ten-Yi. One, two, three. 
Um, one, two. Let's get rid of some extra copies of cards. Perfect. And then we want loyal Guan Yun. And then we could also play... Um, are there any like good spell trap destruction cards at low rarity? <laughs> or is it just MST? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just MST, sadly. Lightning Vortex, Malevolent Catastrophe. I kind of need my spell traps, though. Search Cyclone, Twister. Cyclone. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I spelled Cyclone wrong. One second. Let me go down to NR. Cy Cyclone. Mmm. Double Cyclone. Twister. Twister. Parallel Twister. Whoa. Uh. Storm. <gasps> Windstorm of. Oh, you can literally just play Storm. Whoa, I could play a Storm deck. Bad Aim. That's a trap card, though. I'm trying to go sec. Oh, the Sky Striker cards. Sky Striker. Uh, jamming Waves. If you control no monsters, target spell trap, destroy it. If you have three more in your grave, destroy one monster on the field. It destroys one of each. But the problem is, I don't have enough spells to put in the grave. Spells from this card from your hand. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a link monster, banish two spells from your graveyard and negate the effect. If this card disturbs a balance onto the graveyard, target one of your banished Sky Striker spells and add it to your hand. Emule. Wait, rare is a. Wait, what? There's Sky Strikers that are rare? I didn't know that. <laughs> you can play Sky Strikers. Whoa. You can discard a spell, spells on this card from your hand. If a link monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish a spell from your graveyard instead. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished Sky Striker spells and add it to your hand. Huh. Hmm. No Shizuku or Widow Anger. I mean, true, but you do have Jamming Waves and Sky Striker Afterburners. Hmm, I don't have enough spell cards to use these, so these are off the table, unfortunately. I guess it's just MST as an option, huh? Target one monster, this card's column. You can banish this card, add a Kazajin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. But it adds the card to your hand, not to the field. Typhoon for spell trap removal. Typhoon. Target one face up spell trap on the field, destroy it. If your opponent controls two more spell traps, activate this card from your hand. What rarity is Dicefoon? It is SR, unfortunately. Do 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 Well, I guess we can just ignore back row. It's not a big deal. Okay, so let's see here. Psychic Witch. If it's destroyed, blah blah blah. Let's get rid of that. Lot Kinetic Puppeteer is silly. Wait, is Cash Tier Ogre on the ban list? Shira Ogre is semi-limited. Uh, what about Veshuda? Tenyi... None of the Tenyis are on here. Loyal... None of the Loyals are on here. Okay. 
We go down to one preparations. We played mech knights. They have spell trap negates for columns. Hmm. Well, I don't want to play the mech knights though. That's too many cards. Going first, second. Let's say I need to get rid of one more card. When it controls a monster, target one of your S Force monsters that's banished or in your graveyard and special summon it. Maybe I should just play more side beasts to banish my freaking S Force cards. Wait, there's Cybers? Gravitio. Hmm. Cybers gives me some good support. Cybers. Well, I guess not good support. In the lower rarities, there's not really too much good support, it looks like. Grid Rod? I do like Grid Rod. But none of the high level ones are Cybers. Silver Gold Gadget is pretty good. What? All Cybers monsters you control gain 500 attack. If you control Mathmic monsters, send this card to the graveyard. Target one card to one controls and destroy it. Whoa, a 500 attack boost to all of my monsters. That might not be half bad. Um, A dot I. Let's see. Monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack for each card you control. If your Ignister monster battles, your opponent can activate cards. And when your Ignister monster is destroyed by battle, you can target a Cybers monster with 2300 attack in your graveyard and special summon it. Are any of these Cybers monsters with 2300 attack? No, not really. Also, I don't have any AI cards. Hmm. Target a Cyber Monster and Special Summit. Draco Slayer is good in this format too. Draco? Oh, the Draco Slayers, huh? I see, I see, I see. Target one card on the field in this card's column and destroy it. Sign it, switch. Um, let's just go with this and see how it works. Do any of y'all have in our decks to play test versus me? This is a hard brick if you draw Ogre, Vishuda, and Guan Yun at the same time. Uh, how? You can make one in 10 seconds. Make a good one in 10 seconds. Hmm, S-Force and a random Valence monster. Level 1 Insects. Okay, I want to test this versus an NR deck. Dark Armed. Dragon of Annihilation! This one negates the effects of cards during the damage step. But it also has piercing damage, which might be useful. Let's get rid of Power Code Talker. <clears throat> I'll make Draco Slayer? Okay. 
Let me make a dual room. Create a room. Forbidden, unlimited, synchro, standard. Change deck. S Force going second. Room details. Copy room ID. All right, I don't have the bot set up over here. I, I think I might have the bot over here. Edit com room. Nope, I do not. <laughs> I also had an idea for like a... Um, a Zap Mustang deck, but I don't think I can get it to work. <laughs> Giant Ballpark is my go-to deck for any event. Don't want to spend gems on. Well, I like Giant Ballpark. <laughs> I've played it a uh, more billion times. You lost the coin toss? What do you mean? You won the coin toss. Ooh, a tea pass. This is in our format, all right. <gasps> loyal Guan Yun. Special summon the Loyal Guan Yun. Into this zone over here. Add an S Force card for my deck to the hand. Razor. Normal summon Razor. Activate Razor. Special summon Gravitino. This card, add an S-Force card from deck to your hand. <gasps> Ooh! Special summon S-Force monster from your hand. Special summon an S-Force monster from your hand in defense position to one of the zones. Wait, doesn't she search? Oh, it's special summons one. Gotcha. Battle phase. Planet Pathfinder. Are you playing Giant Ballpark? Why didn't you use Giant Pathfinder? Usually play Tyrant Throws Ballpark and Climate Punishment Ballpark. Tyrant Throws Ballpark sounds like a good idea. Holy shit, I didn't even think of that. <gasps> Are there any level 2 insects? Normal monster insects? Is this Iron Chain? It summons level two. No, no, I meant are there any level two normal monster insects? Not can it summon it? Oh, well, you're hand boned. Normal summon Laplacian. Target one S Force monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Gravitio, because it'll search a card when it comes back. The deep dark hole. Why are you playing that card? Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, only when it's special summoned? Fuck. Well, that's fine. Good thing I was experimenting over here. Well, you'll go on you. Damn, S forces go hard. My nose is itchy. Okay, whom's next? Are there any other in our people? You just copied it from MDM? What's MDM? Oh, I can give you guys this Google Doc. Uh, here, I'll give you guys one with the tier list on it. There you go. And now you can just copy and paste the deck from here. Oh, you guys, um, let me give you some codes that they gave me to hand out for premium versions of the program that I use in order to they will expire May 2nd does this work yeah whatever stim fan rye ramp how do you guys get that thing what are we doing? The untapped Daunt GG. It's the program I use in order to import decks into Master Duel. The icon? Yeah, how do you get the icon? Isn't there like a secret code you have to put in? It's a redeem code? Yeah, they gave me five to give out, but I forgot to do it. Our premium subscription will grant the following benefits. Win rate stats for decks and tier lists, player rank filters, access to more personal stats. Ooh. We're getting close to the two hour mark. Shut up. I'm a genius. <gasps> they do have one of these decks. I don't think you could still redeem it though. <clears throat> yes, you can. Is this in our code talkers? Wait, oh, the code for... It's already done? But it just happened. There's no way it's already done. Sign it fusion? What are you fusion summoning? Diplexer Chimera. What even this is card's effect? Once per turn, you can choose one Cyrus monster, spell trap cards, and their effects cannot be activated during the battle phase of this turn. If this fusion summon card is sent to the graveyard, target is signed at fusion and cyber monster in your graveyard, except this card and add it to your hand. Ow, my nose is itchy. <laughs> when I cannot target monsters in the same column as S Force monsters. When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, you banish an S Force card from your hand. Destroy that monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. Eight hundred attack. Huh. This hand is kind of ham boning me up a little bit. Hmm. I'm getting kind of mucked up. I'm getting all bricked up. They're activating an effect. I can activate the effect of Onslaught. Select a card to banish. Make sure your opponent cannot target their own monster, like using equips. What? 
How confident would you feel in a mirror? Call a mirror match? Please don't. <laughs> Nobody plays column decks. Are you kidding me? Right meow. <gasps> I have too many column swapping cards and no ways to take advantage of them. S four specimen. If you control, if your opponent controls a monster, target one of your S four monsters that's banished or in your graveyard and special summon it in the same column as an opponent's monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target S four monster, move that target to one of your other main monster zone. Okay, this will save me. Snake Eyes Mech Knight is actually a thing. I think I have a better deck now. Accept a TDL. Play Mech Knights. I don't want to play Mech Knights. Mech Knights suck. Oh wait, Mech Knights are good going second, aren't they? I could just play Mech Knights. Sign at Storm? Whoa! The battle phase? 4,800 points of damage? Um, if I special summon this card, it'll go up to 2,500 attack. Activate the effect of Gravitio. To add a card from deck to hand. Bridgehead. We both die. And now your card has no more cards to do its bidding. Sign it. Fusion and Clock Wavern. Did you use your normal summon this turn? Fuck. Stop summoning cards into the zone that Code Talker points to. Oh wait, Code Talker, if I move cards to a zone. It can't be sure by battle or my opponent's card effect, so it becomes like a towers almost. Flame Administrator. Holy moly. Look how strong they are. Okay, activate Bridgehead. Add a card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, this one. Razor. Uh, each monster in your opponent's same column as your S Force monsters cannot be used as material for a Link 3 or higher monster. <coughs> mm hmm. I see. Special summon Gravitio. Activate Gravitio. This is why you need three want kinetic puppeteers. Shut up. You don't know anything about anything. La Patina. And then I can move cards around. Special summon Geonator Transverser, but I can't do anything with it. It is battle phase. Yes, battle phase. Uh, target one cyber monster on the field. This turn, neither player takes battle damage. Also, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. <laughs> that card sucks. Broken line, get out of here. Ooh, and I can kill it now. Cool. Hmm, I think I'll just save it. Let's 
Sour Vaboose, the trap you call callously ignored. It's a non-targeting, non-destruction removal. What? What card? Cyanet Fusion. Monsters from your hand or field. Use materials when it controls no monsters. Extra monster zone. You can banish one Cyber Slink monster from your graveyard as a fusion material. Uh oh. It's like Iron Dragon Tiamat. Move that to another one of your main monster zones. <gasps> I have two cards that can move my cards around. Battle phase. Oh, I should play Watt Kinetic Puppeteer. Because of my other column cards. It's like Iron Dragon Tiamatan. Sounds made up. Um, shit. No! Razor to summon Gravitino from hand. I did do that. I need one of my freaking like going second monsters. They all special summon when I have a clear field. Move your S-Force monsters to the same column. Field will protect your monsters. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh no. It's a good thing I'm practicing. Activate Bridgehead. Add a card from deck to hand. Yes. Razor. Normal summon. Razor. Activate Razor. Special summon La Patina. Wait, what? This card is normal or special summon. You can target one of your banished S Force monsters. It's only banished S Force monsters? God damn it. <clears throat> so there's an S Force with actual protection? Apparently, the field spell gives me protection. It's minus 600 attack. Um. Beast King unleashed. Oh, well, I won't be destroyed because I'm in the same column. <laughs> Unleash the beast. As forces a surprisingly competent deck. <gasps> it's very surprising, that's for sure. Cosmo Metal Foes? Ooh, that seems cool. End phase? Ho oh, ho ho ho, I can just normal summon my Latina. Not Latina, Platina. Night Chaser plus Rapa and Field is protection from battle. What? Yeah, definitely moving my opponent's cards around is better. Update Jammer. Neat. Okay, I'm gonna make some changes to my deck based on this duel. Do 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 math make multiplication. You can target one level four monster you control. It all becomes angel the turn. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can target one cypress monster you control in the extra deck and is extra. Detonate to deleter. Once per turn, the start damage step when this card battles a face up monster that is not a link three or higher monster. You can destroy that monster. Whoa.
Once per turn, you can tribute one monster as a card points to, then target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Whoa! Holy crap. Uh, right here. <gasps> Beast King Unleash. At the start of the damage step, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why do people stop using Axis with Update Jammer? Feels like I've seen that combo in a long time. Because there's no meta cyber stacks. Duel. Normal summon or a fist. Battle phase. 1800 attack. These King Unleashed is so toxic, it basically guarantees my cards aren't dying. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Since I could just bounce them back. And the effect is once per chain. Damn, this is really good in this deck. I'm going to bed, have a good night chat. See you later, Fell Plagued. Another Sinet Fusion? I kind of like this deck, Ryram. You piece of garbage. Don't tell Stim I said that. <laughs> Stim likes her mods more than me. Deck no damage to the rest of the turn. This card attacks the monsters both on the extra deck. <laughs> He's in the same zone. <laughs> Stim fan. Ryram. It's in the same zone. Oh, wow, you're going for it. When a monster declares attack, and this point you can activate this effect, that monster you control cannot be destroyed by that battle. Activate Beast King Unleash, which will activate during the damage step. Yeah, sometimes friends just talk shit about each other. What? Oh, oh crap. I'll be right back. Beast. Would you like to activate the effect of Psy Beast? Yes. Kashtira Ogre. It's all Ogre now. Let's run another one. Also get rid of this card and this card and run some more Watt Kinetic Puppeteers. Cash Tira Ogre. Well, if I'm not moving my cards around anymore. No, I still can with Staring Contest, technically. Uh, while this card is set, target one card on the field in this card's column and destroy it. Daring contest that allows me to move my cards into the extra monster zone. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need to get rid of a card. GG, Mr. Logs. GG, more like BG. Bad game. Spellcaster, Psychic, Psychic, Gravitino. Blast Fuse. Blast Fuse kind of sucks, though. Because it destroys all cards in the column. I don't want to do that. And it'll be activated if all cards in the column are currently set. Set up, I mean. Um, I just need to get rid of one card from this deck, but I can't think of a card to get rid of from this deck because they're all perfect. Special summon it. What card should I remove? A showdown? No. A cash tier ogre? No. Prey of the Gyragumo? Just run 41. Might as well. A Tenyi? No, I don't want to do that. Oops. Okay. The NR logs. Um, I'll be right back. I guess the rest real quick. Hollow Life Bearer has got to be the longest a card has gone without actually telling you what it did. This card came out in 2004 and had the effect to reduce all damage you took this turn to zero. Now what you probably think this card means is that if you take any effect damage or you would get attacked directly, you would take zero damage. But did you know this card also prevented your monsters from getting destroyed by battle? Because the card doesn't say it anywhere in its text. You see, when this card was printed, they treated cards which reduce a monster's damage to zero as not being able to be destroyed by battle, with only one other card in the game with this effect and wording. But the funny thing is, there's no ruling that states this. This was actually a ruling from Magic that people designed the game back then just to assume people would know works on your Yu-Gi-Oh monsters as well. In 2006, Wabaku received an errata in order to clarify to prevent your monsters from being destroyed by battle. But also in 2006, Hollow Light Bear received an errata, which simply clarified it did indeed reduce the damage you took from effects to zero as well, neglecting to mention also prevent your monsters from being destroyed. And since this card wasn't very popular or very good because of its discard cost, they never bothered to create a new copy that properly explained what it did until 2022, where it finally got its text updated 16 years later. If a card is set to be destroyed, it cannot be returned to the deck or hand, but you can interact with them in pretty much any other way. This is a ruling that almost never matters. However, there are some situations in which this might come up. Say, for example, you activate the ability... Where are my NR fellows at? More like TG Hyper Librarian. Shut up. Noted. How many logs would the dual logs duel if the dual logs truly dual logs? Shut up. You're ready? Are you the NR logs? What's the room code? I'll put it in chat. <sighs> oh fuck, I forgot to go second. Good thing I lost the die roll. Are you playing Mech Knights? Aw, oh, you piece of garbage. You piece of garbage. You piece of garbage. You garbage. Oh well, you know how these things are. <laughs> the new Great Tusk Mill deck from Temporal Forces is crazy? What's the Great Tusk Mill deck? Holy shit, Dapdos. TCG. Mech Knights are kind of a staple in NR. Shut up. Fuck Mech Knights. I hate Mech Knights. Mech Knights can suck my butt. How to make anything retro. Mech Knights can eat shit. Are you kidding me? Three Watt Kinetic Puppeteers? Fuck, man. Why do bad things only ever happen to me?
あのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのあのエクストラカードズ、アンディング。World Legacy Whispers。When this card is activated, target one level 5 or higher monster in the field. It gains a thousand attack and defense until the end of this turn. Negate opponent spell effects that activate in the same column as your mech knight monsters. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Isn't Little Chalice banned in the tournament? I don't think so. I'd be surprised. World Legacy Memories? Ugh. I'm just trying to S Force it up right now, and you're making this impossible. Target one face up monster in this card's column, destroy it. Wait, do you have a card in the grave? You don't even have a Mech Knight monster in your graveyard. Oh, now you do. <laughs> Trying to destroy my loyal Guan Yun. Wait, how come you have so many attack points? Oh, it's because of scars. Yeah, nice column based effect, idiot. Bringing out Lee because you can't use its effect to destroy my loyal Guan Yun anymore? Let me send one. Wait, what? Danger main fakes, all the 10 cards on the graveyard, banishes card in the graveyard, add a world legacy card from your deck to the hand. Yeah, nice column based effect, loser. Did you get it at your mom's house? <laughs> End phase. <gasps> S-Force Bridgehead! I can finally add an S-Force card from my deck to my hand! Yee! Gravity! Secrets wins? What do you mean, Secrets wins? gravity -o. Gravitio activates its effect in order to add an S Force card from my deck to the hand. La Patina. Target S Force card in your graveyard. S Force monsters cannot be targeted. Stop activating effects? Never. I'm an effect activator. Ooh, if it deals battle damage, I can destroy a card on the board. I don't need to, though. I'm a connoisseur. <gasps> Target a level 5 monster in your graveyard? 
whatever. Into the same zone that my monster is in. Continue the attack. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think any of my monsters can beat over it now. Uh, negate in any opponent's monster effect activates in the same column as a mech knight monster you control. You can target if your opponent controls more monsters than you do. Oh shit, I can't actually get rid of it. Well, fuck. Um. Hmm. Getting rid of it temporarily won't do anything either. Hmm. Guess I'll just give my monsters some targeting protection. Do you have any cards that reach 2600 attack? No. Can you steal it? Yeah, I can steal it. With the Link 2? I can also bounce it back to the hand, but that's kind of useless during the main phase too, you know? Target one card in the spell and trap card zone and destroy it. <laughs> Any cards sent to the graveyard in the same column as our S-Force monster is banished instead of going to the grave. Where's your Berserker of the Tenyi? Oh yeah! I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I have that in the extra deck. I just kind of forget that I have it, you know? <laughs> yeah, Geonator Transverser. I have it, I just didn't need to swap at the time because, like, my battle phase is over already. Whew, the battle phase. Uh oh. Uh, I think it's too late because it's only on declaration. Uh, your opponent declares an attack on an S Force monster, blah blah blah. They're attacking into Guan Yun? <gasps> no! I've only versed one Yu Gi Oh! before, and that was 2014, and I don't remember what I lost to. I just remember two turns of gadgets. What? Oh, shit. Stop destroying my board! That's unfair! Oh, shiznit. It's because of all these Watt Kinetic Puppeteers I drew into. Oh crap. Dark Arm Dragon. Damn, now you're just going to destroy everything. You can send this card from your field to the graveyard to move one of my c opponent's monsters. Damn, I'm so ham boned right now. Guess you ain't moving transverser now. Nope. I didn't think he'd be able to clear my whole board in one turn. What the fuck? Oh, 
I didn't really think to stop the destruction. Because I'm not really paying attention. I could have prevented all of this if I had just toggled on before the battle phase. You know? Broken line! They can't even use the effect anymore. <laughs> nice S-Force card. I drew all three copies of my puppeteer. I... I'm gonna get rid of this card. It lost me the game. Is there a good way to search Instant Fusion other than normal Orpheus Scorpio or Keeper of Dragon Magic? Verte Anaconda. In TCG? Who cares about the TCG? There's neat flip support. I mean that hamster dude. Every game ranked by attendance. There's a Dungeons and Dragons card game? Or do they mean Dungeons and Dragons? Subterror Link as well. It's a one card set in Flip Monster and a deck turn one. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right meow. Alright, I can edit from over here. Oh I'll keep one copy of Watch Kinetic Puppeteer. Um and I'll play three copies of Prey of Gyro Gumo. Okay. Who's up next? Five proven ways to hack your ADHD? Whoa. Fire prison is banned. Motherfucker. 
Wait. Hmm. hmm. Return of the Monarchs. Oh, I could play the Vassal Engine. Since I don't really use the extra deck. Whew. Although, I need these cards special summoned. This card's normal or special summoned. If this card is special summoned, target S-Force monster graveyard, special summon it, you can banish S-Force card from your hand, destroy all of your opponent's monsters in the same column as this card. Special summon to the field in the same column as an opponent's monster. La Pacwell. Are there any in our monarchs? Uh, yeah. There sure is. Okay, special summon Kashtira Ogre. Surprisingly, a lot of megas. Sounds about right. Draco Slayer. <laughs> Kashtira preparations. <gasps> they activated an effect. Five cards. True Draco Heritage. Forbidden Chalice. Okay, and then, oh, uh, if I normal summon this card, and then special summon this card, and then I'm gonna just do this. Special summon an S-Force monster from your hand in defense position. Activate the effect of the card. In order to add... Oh, I still haven't used my normal summon yet. <gasps> Bridgehead. Activate Bridgehead. When this card is activated, add an S-Force monster from your deck to your hand. Razor. Okay. And if I use these two cards to go into a summon, then I can bring them back attack position. Okay. Normal summon. Special summon. Laplace. Activate Laplace. Special summon Gravitio. Cool. Banish one S-Force card from your hand. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls in this same column as your S-Force monsters. Or I can steal his card. What does Razor do again? Nothing much. It's already served its purpose. What? They let you choose the zones they go to? Ooh. Oh, wait. I can go into Volcano Source now? I keep this card permanently, right? <laughs> You know, rituals may not be in R since you have all the non ritual incantations in R. Yeah, I get to keep my card personally. 
2300 attack points. Do they have something they can use here? Nobody plays around Transverser, it's a great card. Oh! <gasps> MST! Fuck! Are there any other good level files? X, Y, Zs, I mean. Target three true Draco cards. You have none! Because I stole your resources instead of letting you keep them. Uh oh. <gasps> Target a card into the spell and trap card zone and destroy it? My field spell? Well, shit. Yeah, uh oh, stinky. They're attacking my Geonator Transverser. Activate S Force. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, what? It activates a card or effect. I thought this only activated on monster effects. It's any effect? Oh, shit. I did not know the field was part of the spell and trap card zone. Right? Me neither. Doom Chimera is a good rank 5 XCs. What does Doom Chimera do again? Isn't that the one where it just like gains attack equal to its materials? Times a thousand. <gasps> Gravitio! Alright, I can just use Laplace. Normal summon. King of Heavy Industry is good. Is it? And shuffle one card after damage step. Oh, only in graveyard. Volcanosaurus. I have Volcanosaurus already. Maybe I should just play more tenies if I just want tribute fodder. Hmm, select a card to add from your deck to your hand. La Patina. Do I have any banished ones? Nope. Now I can finally beat over the cards! La Armpit. <laughs> but you need three level 5 monsters? Well, there is a level 5 monster that special summons itself. Jack. Its name is Joker's Knight. Plus one Jack's Knight. Because this is also level 5, now that I think about it. La Place and Latina. Platina. Why do I keep calling her Latina? Let's get rid of that. Let's 
get rid of the puppeteer. I'm slowly losing my deck's identity. And I no longer have ways to move my cards around, so let's get rid of that. Is Kai's Force Raider? Probably, but I don't want to play it. Um... Mm, Isn't Cyber Dragon? Yeah, but it sucks. Uh, three level five monsters detach materials from the top three cards your opponent's deck in the graveyard. If any monsters were sent, to destroy your opponent's cards. Where's Doom Chimera? There it is. Doom Chimera. Uh, gains a thousand attack for each material attached to it. This card with materials can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can activate one of the following effects. Target one monster in your graveyard. Attach it to this card as a material. Uh, target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Place it on the bottom of their deck. Hmm. He's becoming a slave to the NR meta. I need to figure this out. Alright, detach material from this card. Target level 5 monster from either graveyard. Special summon to either field. Oh, this can let me special summon Gravitio. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of this card and this card. Do I even have level threes in this deck? No, why am I playing that card? Psy Beast. Maybe I should play that one other card. Psychic. Which Oh, um I can put one of these cards back. Heartland Draco. Look, he's not going to rest anyway. I don't go to sleep for a bit. I can probably also put in Um this card. Once per turn, if this card is targeted for attack, it gains that yield to the attacking monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If this face-up card in the field would be destroyed, you can detach a material from this card instead. When this card on the field is destroyed by card effect, has no exceeds material, you can special summon a number 94 Heartland Draco monster from extra deck and attach this card to it as a material. Wait, what? Once per turn, if this card is targeted, it gains that equal to the attacking monster's original attack until the end of the turn. If this card would be destroyed, detach material 10. When this card that feels destroyed by a card effect while it has no materials, you can special summon a Heartland Draco. Wait, Nova's only an R? Yeah, but it sucks. Two level five machines. Good luck bringing that out. Two level five insects. So annoying. Hmm, Heartland Draco. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, you can detach one material from this card, banish all cards your opponent currently controls that were normal or special summoned, or were set this turn. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while it has materials, special summon this card. If special summon this way, against the attack for each card currently banished. Well, that seems silly. We can do it. The combo is available. I can see the lines. <laughs> okay, Sir Flex V. Or Sir Flan. Because I think I just went against Sir Flex V. Barbarian rank my shark. There's an in rarity rank five. Let's see special summon level five from the grave. Can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I have it in there. You made a new deck, Mr. Logs? No, you didn't. Shut up. Wait, who made a new deck? Ryram? I should go against Ryram then. Is that who I'm facing right now? Okay. Stim fan Rye? Oh, I think that's who you are. Stim 
steam fan, the Rye Ram. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Did you brick? Ooh, a Joker's Knight. Special summon. Activate Joker's Knight. Then Gravitio. Use the ability to add the field spell. Then activate the field spell in order to add. Generally, Razor because it's Buffalo summons more cards. What the hell is this deck? Are you kidding me, right, Meow? You should have activated your floodgate, true. What was that card? Guardian Kayas. It's awful. Are you playing a Guardian deck? Can you pin the room code? Sure. Oh, stumbling. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Didn't they recently drop new guardian support or am I tripping? Gate guardian support, not guardian support. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Wait, what happened? Changes battle position. This card can attack while in face up defense position. Holy moly. I'm gonna get raffle pwned. Wait, why did you summon into the same zone as one of my cards? Start of the battle step if your monster battles an opponent's monster in the same column. Oh, I guess you can just do that, uh huh? Hmm. Activate Joker's Knight. Special summon a card. Uh-oh, it's in defense mode now. Doom Chimera. Wait, what if I steal their card? Mm, you can activate this fact, target one card in the graveyard, attach it to this card as a material. I think it's probably better just to do this. And then activate Beast King Unleash. Oops, wrong one. Okay, and then go into the main phase two and activate Razor. Or just special summon Gravitio from the hand so I can search out another card. Cybers, this is a psychic monster. Stop abusing Beast King released? No. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I'm a genius. As course, Platina is a spell card, a spell casterer. Do I have any level 5s in the grave? I do have a level 5 in the grave. I could special summon it to my field. Hmm. It only gains a thousand attack, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Another stumbling, huh? What kind of deck is this? Hmm. This card is normal or special. Target one of your banished S Force monsters and special summon it. I have zero banished S Force monsters. <gasps> I can do this. It's a tragedy deck. What? What's that? Oh, the card which destroys monsters that are put into defense position. That's called clown control. Not tragedy, that's clown control, you buffoon. Heart Earth. You're a clown control? No, you. I'm a genius. Like Rosami-sama. But I use two monsters that attack in defense position. Stumbling is so annoying. I love it. It's so good in clown control. Did you just special summon Cyber Dragon? Do I even have an S Force monster in the grave? Oh, I do have one. Rugged line. Once per turn, if this card is target for attack, gains attack. If this face of a card in the field will be destroyed, you can detach a material instead. When this card in the field is destroyed by a card effect while it has no XCs materials, you special summon a card from your deck. Neat. Tribute for Total Defense Shogun. Card can only be summoned to a card zone that a dude sub is pointing to. Oh man, two stumblings out is so annoying. Why the heck does this card activate? <laughs> There's no reason for it to have to activate like that. <gasps> what if I swap control of these cards? Codebreaker, the Vire Swordsman! Oh my god, it activates on a monster that can't go to defense position, too? Do 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 Yeah, silly mandatory effects. Yeah, why the link note go into defense mode? Uh oh. That's game ogre. Prey of Gyragumo. Hmm.
This should be good enough. I gotta go. I didn't record audio today, so a little bit more streaming than normal was probably fine. Is Mini streaming still? Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to send a raid to Mini. Everybody go say hi to Mini for me. Yell at her. Tell her, hi, Mini. Hi, Mini. Hi, Mini. Bye.